All right. There's trusty, steadfast sand plow guy. Yes, we're back at the beach. I know it's not very glamorous looking because the parking lot is pretty trashy, but uh, it is an inspiring place nonetheless. There's lots of stand-up paddleboarders out there today. Hi, Patricia Henry. Let's see, who else have we got? We've got Brianna, Patty's on. Awesome, okay, I'm gonna flip this around. All right, there we are. Took my jacket off. Thank you for the hearts already. Hi there, hello, Christine. Welcome to Inspiriscope. Um, just a little note because this is going to be going up on YouTube. If this is part three of this little series that I'm doing about using the Miracle Morning practice. And so if you want to see the first two parts, just go to my YouTube channel. Just look for my name, Margo Porras. You'll see it there. Um, I think it's its own playlist. The Inspiresco show is his own, uh, has his own playlist. And um, if you are watching this on YouTube, this is a rebroadcast of a Periscope live broadcast. So if it looks like I'm not looking right at the camera, it's because I'm reading everybody's little comments and I'm interacting with the people live. So if you want to interact live in the conversation on the Inspiriscope show, then follow us here on Periscope. Follow either me, myself, I'm at She's Nacho Mama, and, uh, or you can just look for my name and also follow my friend Christine. She's at W Wife and she broadcasts on Thursday evenings at 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm on Monday mornings at 8 a.m. Pacific. So we've been talking for the last few weeks about using the Miracle Morning practice um, in your life in general. There's Christine, follow her. In your life in general and uh, for specifically health goals, weight loss goals, things of that nature. I have found it extremely effective. And um, it's a six part practice that one does every single morning. Uh, you take a certain length of time, say it's an hour, and you divide it into six 10 minute segments. Um, I personally generally do like four to six minute segments because I don't usually have a whole hour. Um, but the segments are as follows. The, the acronym is SAVERS. So the first, the S is for silence or meditation or prayer. And we talked about that a couple weeks ago. Last week we talked about the A, which is for affirmations. Today we're talking about B, which is visualization. Next week we'll be talking about the E, which is exercise. R, which we'll be reading, is the following week. And then we're going to wrap it up with the last S, which stands for scribing or really journaling. Um, but today we're talking about, as I said, we are talking about visualization. And I have to tell you that this is my very, very favorite segment of the Miracle Morning. It is the one that I most look forward to doing every single morning. Um, it's the one that, like, if I run a little bit over my segment time, it's this one. This is the one. Because it's this is my favorite, favorite. I could visualize all day long. I freaking love it. Um I work with the Miracle Morning with some of my coaching clients, and it's really interesting to me that uh, I told you, I've been saying that some people have obstacles to one or more of the various segments of the Miracle Morning. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank you for all of those hearts. Wow. Um, some people have trouble being silent. Some people, that's like really hard for them. A lot of people struggle. Yes, they absolutely do. A lot of people struggle with affirmations. We talked about that last week, how saying kind things or saying positive things about yourself for some people is almost impossible. All the more reason to, to give it a shot. And visualization is not that it's, um, it's not that they have a resistance to doing it. What I find with working with people with this, um, it's that they just don't know how, or they feel like there's a right way to do visualization. So visualization is very, very important, I think. You know, I come from a, um, oh, thank you. I come from a, um, a background of a, you know, I was, before I did all this, I was a professional designer. And a designer is somebody who is hired just because of their, precisely for that, because they have the ability to visualize and to manifest somebody else's vision. I can see what somebody else is wanting and I can help them bring that into reality. And the reason they hire me is because they can't do that. So a lot of people struggle with visualization. But when we talk about visualization, thank you for sharing this broadcast. And yes, check out all the Perry Girls. There's a hashtag Perry Girls on here. 
Um, visualization is so, so important because it helps you get excited and motivated to go after what it is you want. Oh, you were a designer too? Oh, fabulous. Yeah, I mean, so we're, for us, it comes easy. Visualization, I can do like that. I could, I could literally just spend an entire day doing visualization in various ways. But visualization could be something as simple as um, giving, putting together a music playlist. You know, let's say your goal is to, um, let's say your goal is to be slimmer and healthier and have more energy. And you think, okay, slimmer, healthier, more energetic me does what? Oh, well, she goes for a walk on the beach every morning. What is she? Yeah, creative people, we have a little easier time. What does she listen to when she's walking on the beach? What does she have for breakfast that morning? Who is she meeting when she's out walking around? And visualization sometimes is a challenge for people because let's say weight loss is a perfect example. I know, it's so powerful. Weight loss is great because let's say you're in a situation like I was in the first time I lost weight. And by the way, I'm somebody who's been overweight my entire life um, since childhood. And as an adult, I have lost weight. So, uh, I've lost 73 pounds three times. And it all came back a couple times. I had things I had to learn. And one of the things, one of the real stumbling blocks for me the first time that I was trying to lose this big amount of weight was I didn't know... I had no way of imagining what it would be like to be a slim, healthy person. I've never, I had never been one. Uh, I didn't know what that would feel like. I didn't know what I would dress like. I didn't know how I would anything. I didn't know what, how I would look. I had no way to visualize that. Yeah, it's a, it's a constant process. We all go up and down. Um, but if you have never been there before and you're trying to get to some place where you have never actually been, or you're, let's say you're embarking on a new career and you're, you want to be something like I want to be right now. You know, I'm pursuing this career to be like this crazy witchy woo woo weight loss life coach. That does not exist. <laughs> I don't have like, oh, I can just be like, okay, yeah, yeah. Send me a, send me a, a tweet me or something so we can connect. That would be great. Um, I, I don't have like, oh, I'll just be like that other crazy Mexican uh, life coach who is a Reiki practitioner. There's nobody else like me and there's nobody else like you. So if you're trying to do something absolutely brand new, yes, it can be very daunting and difficult to try to visualize yourself in that future. I have to call it like it is. That's how, that's just what I am. <laughs> um, oh, great. Okay. Terrific. So if you're in that situation, you're like, I don't even know what that's going to look like then that's okay. Then you can do visualization in the form of working on a vision board, which I love to do. That's one of my favorite visualization things I do during that segment is work on my vision board. Um, and I have several. I have one. I have a big one. If you've seen me uh, po uh, periscope from home, you'll see my vision board in the background all the time. Uh, I have one in my daily planner so that every time I open my planner up, there's a vision board right there. Sometimes I work on that. Sometimes I will, um, if I'm really kind of feeling in a hippy dippy skippy kind of a mood, I might do a little tarot card reading for myself to kind of help me figure out what it is I want to do. Your food journal can absolutely help you visualize, right? You can plan your next day. You can plan your next days. Um, I love, this is a very simple little thing. Choose, I love this is one of my favorite visualizations, is to take a moment and decide Decide how you're going to take care of yourself tomorrow. Not today. Decide how you're going to take care of yourself tomorrow. This is why this is a very powerful visualization. So you choose a way that you're going to take care of yourself tomorrow. Maybe it's making better food choices. Maybe it's getting enough water. Maybe it's getting enough exercise. What this does is, <clears throat> notice I didn't say take care of yourself tomorrow. I said Take a moment to figure out, imagine how you're going to take care of yourself tomorrow. Why is that so powerful? Because if I decide today that I'm going to take care of myself tomorrow by making good food choices, let's say, then when I go to my speaking engagement later today and somebody goes, oh, hey, by the way, there's Krispy Kreme in the break room. You want to have some donuts that are they're there for you. I actually have a little moment. I think, well, wait a minute. No, no, I decided how I'm going to take care of myself tomorrow. And when I decide how I'm going to take care of myself tomorrow, 
I reinforce an identity as a healthy person who makes good choices. So I don't think I am going to have the donuts in the break room right now. Or I think I will take that extra walk. Or I think I will remember to get that extra glass of water. So it's visualization helps you to form that identity that you will need to achieve your goals. And it's really great. And there really honestly is no wrong way to do it. Yeah, reinforcing your identity is super important. So often it's so easy to take the negative messages and make that part of our identity. I'm never going to do this. I'm never good at losing weight. I always gain the weight back. I always just decide to cop out and watch television. We make that our identity, but you can use visualization to help build the identity that you want to have to live your life the way you want to live it. And so visualization, again, no wrong way to do it. So please don't think like, oh, there's no way I can imagine that. I hate to do vision boards. I don't, there's no wrong way to do it. There's absolutely, thank you guys for inviting your followers. I really appreciate it. There's no wrong way to do visualization. Just like there's really no wrong way to do any of these segments, meditation, affirmation, um, just the fact that you would take a moment to consider yourself having already achieved the things that you want, whether that's weight loss, whether that's a health you know, crisis that you've gotten through in the, in the future. You're thinking of yourself as having gotten through it already. And then once you're able to do that, then you get to do the next part of visualization, which is my favorite part, which is where we start to think about, okay, I know what the thing is I want to have. Now I'm going to try to visualize all the different ways that I can get there. That's even more powerful. And you start opening yourself up to noticing these opportunities as they present themselves to you. The opportunities exist around us all the time. We just don't see them because we're so caught up in our own head noise. But when you start focusing on looking for ways to advance towards your goals, you start noticing where they actually are. They've always been there, but you, you finally start to see them. They kind of come into focus all of a sudden. So visualization is awesome awesome. If you're not doing it, give it a shot. And again, if you want to catch the whole series on the Miracle Morning, just go to my YouTube channel. It's all there. And uh, next Monday, I'll be back talking about the next segment, which is exercise, which is another really, really fun one of the Miracle Morning. So the idea would be you do this, these little segments, little bursts of these things, and you get so much done before the rest of your family is even up yet. It's amazing. And you start the day with a great feeling of having taken care of yourself. And you're that much more equipped then to help everybody else in your life. Christine, um, what are you talking about on, on your show this week? She's on this Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific. So Inspiroscope show is on twice a week, Mondays at 8 a.m. Pacific, Thursdays at 5 p.m. Pacific. Christine and I are both Perry girls. And four steps to crush your goals. What's better than that? That's what she's talking about. So tune in to her, Christine, that's her right there, W Wife, um, on Thursday night, right here on Periscope. And you can be part of that conversation too. Thank you guys for joining me today. All your awesome, yeah, we'll introduce it each week and we'll discuss it. Thank you for all of your wonderful input, your questions, your comments. I really, really appreciate it. And thanks for joining us. Have a beautiful week. Bye.